Internet, I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back for some more Pokemon Randomizer. And this time we're going to be exploring back in the Eterna Forest. I want to go back a bit because there was that uh, haunted house that we could not explore before because we did not have cut. I didn't need to go into my menu to actually activate cut. I, we just played Pokemon Red Randomizer last, so I was like kind of, you know, losing myself there. Lose yourself in the moment. You won't. Oh, well, let me check off. I got, um. Do I have a dousing machine? I don't know why. I just kind of check. Like, I kind of wanted to check a dousing machine here because there's like so many conspicuous holes in the fence. Ooh, hey, check it. Check. Got myself Pokemans back there. We already caught a turn of force Pokemon. And I hated them. These things heal on their own. They're so annoying. I'm not even going to fight it. Like, it was such a pain. Such pain to fight that thing. Oh, uh, let's get out of here. Can't escape. Of course not. Mimic. But it failed. Wait. What physically happened there? <laughs> I tried to run, but instead this... Whatever. Alright, fine. Whatever. Fine. Another. Another dubious disc. Dang it. Well, there goes that. So, guys. Our second... Second lucky Porygon 2, I can't even lean on if I needed to, because we just found a second dubious disc, and because of what I said before, I would have to put it onto him. Now, there are wild Pokemon in here, and we're about to catch our new one today, which is a... <gasps> Level 16 War Turtle! Oh my god, that's amazing! That is amazing, we cannot mess this up. We cannot mess this up. It is a 45 catch rate. Okay. Oh my god, I want it so bad. I want it so bad. I like, I'm legitimately getting lightheaded. I'm so excited. But this is so tense. Um. I am very weak. I know. I kind of want to Earth Power and then Ice Fang to get closer. I don't even want to risk it though. I. I know I'm not strong, and War Turtle is, so Earth Power, Mist Ball, that's a good move, that is Latias's attack. I can go with that. It's also Psychic, I will resist the ever-living crap out of that, that's awesome. That's not good though, Special Attack felt, well, that's helpful, that's helpful, it's gonna weaken my Earth Power. Be weak, be weak, don't you dare crit. You will tickle this little War Turtle. Oh god, I did. Oh my god, I did. This isn't good, you know, how about we play the Ice Fang game instead? Nice! We don't even take that. We're gonna play the Ice Fan game instead, and the reason is I want to try and get it frozen. If we can freeze it... Can you freeze the water? You can freeze water? Why did I have to say that? There's some... Oh, it's got sleep powder! That is nice. That is nice. Come on, freeze. 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 Yes! Okay, we got a status condition on it. Now, with this, we need to throw Pokeballs every single turn. The best stuff we've got which is oh does that count for water pokemon yes it does you stay in my ball man i want this so bad not even a shake oh no come on please frozen solid i want it so badly i am willing to throw everything we have right here on it like i will not i will not fail this i want this so much oh it's awesome Oh, one, two, three! Oh, no, it didn't catch! No! Oh, I want him so bad. Please stay for... Okay, okay, okay. I'm a little more confident now. A little more confident. We got this. Hey, you know what? Let's do this like I do Pokemon Q-Charm. Oh, should I... I'm gonna save the last netball if this one doesn't catch, but we're gonna play this one blind. I'm not watching. I'm gonna play by listening. Okay, here we go. Uh, one, two, three! Yes! Yes! We caught a war turtle! We caught a war turtle! That is so on our team! That is so on our team! Oh, it's so awesome! I've never even seen that sprite before either in this game. That's so cool! It is said to live 10,000 years. Its furry tail is popular as a symbol of longevity. How on earth? How on earth could we have ever known that a single one would live 10,000 years? Like, who figured that out? And I feel sorry for that one because it really should be a Blastoise by now. 
Man, we have a safe second stage Pokemon until level 36. That is freaking amazing. Wartortle has just joined the party. Give it a name to the cop, Wartortle. Yes. And this is all you guys right here. And now I can finally tell you guys, um, there is a new way to donate to add uh, your own names down to the hat below. Um, if you go on my main page on the channel, there's a donate button now on the right. Big blue button, can't miss it. You just click on that, make a donation of any amount, and uh, let me know the name that you want to add to the hat, and I'll add it for you. And um, that is how we're going to go about doing this, and we're going to grab our name for our War Turtle today. Who is named Slam Jam? Slam Jam was transferred to Box 1 in someone's PC. I'm so excited! I kind of want to go back and like look at him now, but let's finish ra like looking around in this place. We got to figure out who's got to go to, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It appears that if it's glaring. Okay, well that's fantastic. So, um, by the way, I totally did not... Oh, we got so lucky and we didn't get that. That would have sucked. I thought he was shiny at first. Uh, but yeah, um... Shiny Electabuzz and Shiny Elekid actually swap yellows ba with each other. And regular Elekid and regular Electabuzz swap yellows with each other, too. It's, it's kind of cool. I like it. Can't escape. Are you serious? I'm so slow. But anyway, I, I did remember my badge. I, like, between uh, catching him, I looked down and I saw the badge in front of me where I put the name. And I was like, whoops. Oh, God. <laughs> Run. Thank you, Tigra. You know, um, I don't want to get rid of Tigra, but it's got to be somebody. And Tigra's the lowest. And... Tigra has been good, but, I mean, Tigra's alright, Magic Guard's nice, I mean, it's got a healing, it's got great attacks, but it's a, uh, Blaze it, I'm not a huge fan of, he's okay, uh, Apex unfortunately got really weak, um, when's Arbok evolve? We could get another evolution very, very soon, actually, kind of want to check that, like, really quickly, I'm pretty sure you get Arbok, like, low 20s if i am not mistaken um arb we're looking at our box evolution level is 22 let's hang out to apex for sure then until that point right here if i gotta drop anybody right here is just very weak and is not really too helpful to the team i think my bet's gonna go right here hotaru i love dearly and i will never ever get rid of that horse uh hamster is also decent and reliable him and right here are like equally all right to me and tigra is just okay blaze it's also just okay so not really sure um let's go straight i'm not even sure what's in this place old chatio or chatio or chat you not really sure how you're supposed to say that am i supposed to look in the trash cans is that how you're supposed to get rotom i don't remember there was some way to get rotom it's attack! Hey, I found a thing! So that's cool. Maybe he was like in the refrigerator or something? No, that was a Gengar. There was a wild Gengar in this game, and you had to get him like, uh... I am not too surprised to find you here. You know, I need to make sure we don't have Tigra out front anymore. Tigra's traced magic guard. Okay. I... I need to make sure that Tigra's not out front because he's way too friggin' slow. Like, he can't... He can't flee from anything. You know, maybe we should get rid of Tigra and switch for the War Turtle. I mean, Tigra has only been here for a little bit. Tigra's just alright, and it's only on level 15, and... I don't know. Who's, who's a little quicker of you guys that needs the levels? Uh, right here's got the better stats up there, too. I, I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Uh, is there anything in here? Like... I don't want to waste you guys' time. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't want to waste your guys' time or anything, but you know, it's now. Is that going to give us a lot of XP for killing it? Because um, I thought I had a nice move. I'm thinking the wrong person. Can't escape. Rayquaza is fast as crap. Taunt. No, I'm running. I'm running. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, is there anything over here to the right? This is going to be the episode, you know, because I'm happy with what I caught. I caught a freaking War Turtle. This would be a really awesome place to wild encounter in, Now you know, I think about it. 
Well, actually, every room gives you different Pokemon. I was gonna say, like, a wild encountered shiny Rayquaza. Oh my god. That's what I meant by wild encounter. I meant, like, shiny hunting. If you didn't understand what I meant there. So, there was nothing there. Um, is there anything on the right or left? I don't know what the point of this place is. Uh, more Alakids. Yay, never mind. That actually wouldn't be too great. I was thinking, like, wow, I can get wild war turtles and Rayquazas? That'd be ball. That would be... That would be circle! It would be exclamation point! It would be smiley face emoticon! It would be many great things! I switched for another slow Pokemon. And now I'm sleeping. That's worse. This is so bad. Can you run in your sleep? Oh, apparently you can. Alright, we need to switch for somebody else because this is not, not gonna fly. We need to switch out for... How about right here? Can you prove yourself as a speed demon? That's all you gotta do right now, bud. That's all you gotta do. Uh, okay. Trash can is empty. What's this? What? That looks too conspicuous. I can't speak to it. I, I walked up to this book in the library and I was like, Why aren't you giving me your knowledge? And it, it just didn't do it. I got frustrated and I left. Which is why I don't go to libraries anymore. I was kidding. Um, wow. Where are we? Like, what? What the heck? What is this? What is this creepy place? Crash chance. Well, apparently we can go over one more and get a Pokeball. Is that the end of it? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, is this looping? Very strange. Belly drum. Mm. That's actually a pretty good move. If you can choose who it goes on to. Oh, a Wonder Guard Pokemon with belly drum. Just imagine the evil. The flat out evil Pokemon you just made. I'm gonna run. Yeah, let's not even mess with that. Hey, you're faster. That's what I wanted to see. Right now, right, right here does have that going for him. He is faster. That TV's going back there. I don't know if that means we found ourselves a Pokemon or a ghost. TV has an oddly malevolent feel, as if it is staring. Hmm. Trash can is empty. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't. I, I'm just exploring right now. Like I said last time, I didn't play this game. Tingling. Well, I did play uh, Platinum. I don't even think I explored in here. I really didn't. So whatever. Spending an episode, you know, getting to explore an area that to me is new and to a lot of other people is probably new. I mean, not everyone's played these games, so there's that. Playing as a randomizer for your first time. Have fun, have fun with that. <gasps> Blue chairs. Oh my gosh, can I take one? I mean, no one's using them, they're clearly right here. I can sit in this one or that one or maybe even... No, there's a ghost in the last one. The ghost of Staravia! Oh my gosh, you wanna... One of the um, top Pokemon that I can't stand, it's Staravia, and it's not... Uh, my reasoning is just because it breaks so many of your chains in Pokemon Platinum when you're actually playing the game. Like, if you have a Pokemon that will ruin hours of work and it shows up and like laughs at you, you're going to inevitably hate it. So, and there's adorable bunnies in here too. Just, you know, just adding that into that. But um, still, that's, Staravia kind of bothered me because it's like in every patch of grass everywhere and it's very common. So it has a very good chance of breaking your chains, which really stunk. So we only have one more area to look through and after that, I don't know what to do. You guys can probably tell me I think there's like a certain day you go back and um, the TV is doing something or like you can actually encounter the Gengar or whatever it is. Or maybe like sometimes there's a Rotom in there. I don't understand, but it clearly it would not be a Rotom and it would not be a Gengar, which is why I don't really care. You know, if the best thing we can expect out of there is a Pokemon. Let's keep it going. We got the one I was after. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad. Oh, I gotta figure out who's switching though. It could have a horrible ability and horrible moves. I think I'd still take it. Whoa, almost ran right in all that. You know, we could have fished up our Pokemon instead. I mean, that would have been fun. Uh, speaking of which, if someone you guys were pointing out, if there's water in any of these towns, we technically are obligated um, to catch a new Pokemon in them. So, there's that. Booting up the PC, we have someone's PC. Inside of someone's PC, we have move Pokemon, and inside there, we're gonna look at our team members. 
These are the Pokemon we have to look through right now. We have Lyric at level 8. We have Dongle at level 12, who needs to be holding the dubious disc. Dang it. We also have John Cena the Bellsprout at level 13, who's pretty good, you know, like we might even want to switch him into. And Slam Jam, holding a Citrus Berry at level 16. Water, Quirky, let's look at its summary. Quirky is, uh, that's good for us, Perseverance is high. Um, Flash Fire. Dang it, I was gonna say, oh, it's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> Uh, if that was on a grass Pokemon or something, I don't know, like, I'm not gonna get hit with a fire move. I'm just not, but whatever, the stats are looking nice. Try attack, miss ball, sleep powder, poison sting. That, I can go with. That sounds nice. Let's, no, not so, I meant, I meant move. I don't know why I did that move. Um, we're gonna switch you out for somebody in the party. Who is it? Someone's gotta go. Someone just has to go and, um... I feel really bad about it, but I'm actually gonna switch out Tiger. I'm switching Tiger out. Place Tiger. I'm sorry. Can I have your item? What's your item? Yeah, it's soft sand. Uh, yeah, take. I'll take the soft sand. If uh, any of you guys have anything else, I can steal from you. Splash plate. Yes, actually, may I have that back? Thank you very much. Um, other than that, yeah, we can go over here and look at the deceased. Can I change the like the color in here and make it look like a grave site because it's a city? Though it's kind of dark and depressing over there anyway. Bye, Nathan. I want to save them, like, our d deceased over there, like, not straight release them, so we have, like, a record of who died. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's just funny to me. We have a war turtle down there. It's so awesome. He did not have a water attack, though we can go through our TMs and see if he wants to learn something. Oh, surf and waterfall and all oh, that stuff's gonna be awesome when we get it. When do you surf in this game? Hopefully soon. Um... Hmm, belly drum? Nope. Mega kick? Uh None of those are really striking me as good for a war turtle. So, um, let's actually just keep what he's got. Um, it is actually smarter to take the uh, citrus berry so he doesn't just use it. Let's switch out um, Slam Jam, who is now actually the weakest member of the team and does need it, does need the help here. We have any other uh, hold items that can be helping? Uh, we have an upgrade too that's horrible, so we couldn't even use a Porygon. Well, it would evolve. Well, actually, that's great because it is not going to turn into a Porygon too, so that's actually fantastic. Armor Fossil, Sea Incense. Uh, you guys have been telling me, yeah, we can go to the underground and get um, new Pokemon because we can get fossils down there. I'm well, like, okay, sure. Um, sea Incense, Reaper Cloth, Big Root, Big Glasses, uh. Now I'm already forgetting what he knew. It was like psychic, uh, normal, and poison, which... For now, he actually has no benefit of using almost any of these. So, um, I know it's weird, but I'm actually gonna keep nothing on him until we find a better hold item for him. So, there's that ting that I'm gonna do. Now that I believe, uh, this is the direction we are supposed to be heading. Um, I also think we're allowed to have a bike. Didn't you need to have a badge or something like that to get the bike? They said something like that before, right? Just double checking, Mr. Oh, there's nobody here. Got this kid. Manager's off to the Galactic Building. Ah, I see. I get, okay. I get its story. I understand. I'm supposed to do this other thing up here. Excuse me, Mr. Spaceman. And uh, cut my way through here. Yeah, that is a good thing we kept right here. One, he's been around a lot longer than Tigra. Uh, two, are there hidden items back here? There's probably hidden items back here. But, 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 no, okay, never. I'll stop. I, I always think there's hidden items everywhere, but yeah, right here is probably just a little bit better than, uh, uh, Tigra. Tigra is kind of hard to level up, is very weak, so that's a bummer. Team Galactic isn't interested in the world. Our gaze is beyond the stars. Okay, then, no one's stopping you, man. Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What, you're not? Then kindly get off our property. Do we have the uh, do we have to bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop manager? What'd you do to him? Hey, d this music does not sound threatening. Just saying, like that sounded kind of adorable. We are gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. Sorry, dearie. Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. I was kind of expecting like like a, a Sesame Street theme here for our fight. But, okay, never mind. 
Designer Crystal and Designer Webster. All right, fine. What do you guys got? You got a Bronzor and a Vibrava. It looks like Tigra has betrayed us. Fine. I understand your ways, Tigra. All I did was I switched you out for our brand new Slam Jam. I'm so excited to use Slam Jam. Um, so in this situation, we actually don't have anything on the Bronzor on, in terms of Slam Jam. So, um... Yeah, actually, we just need to sort of, like, try attack, hit the Vibrava, and, um... Dang it. Um, Bubble. That's all you got on Bronzor. Oh, it hits both! Sweet! Okay, good. Because uh, that's actually going to be super effective. No, it's going to take it normally on Vibrava. It's going to say, um... It's ground type. It's weak to that. But it's also dragon type. Oh no! That might just straight up kill the Blaze It. Because Vibrava is a really good Pokemon. It is. I don't understand, like, where that evolution came from. You know, like, you look at Trap Inch, and then you're like, Excuse me? And, like, Vibrava comes out. You know, it's just weird. Hey, give us a status condition, please. Ah, uh, it's, that's like... Oh my god, they teamed up and killed my Doduo. Like, was that necessary? Was that necessary? I don't think so. Let's count all of the necessaries. Zero. Uh, try a good sleep powder the Bronzor and let Blaze it kill Vibrava. Or I might save Blaze it's life by killing Vibrava. Let's, let's do this instead. Um, so... Uh, Iron Head the Vibrava. Come on, I'm faster. I'm faster! Missed, yes. Okay, there we go. Slam Jam Sleep Powder. Take him out. Betty time, Tigra. Bye-bye. Fine, you're gonna abandon the team like this? I'll show you what we do to traitors. This is Team Galactic! Well, not really. That's that's them. That's probably what they would say. What would I say in this instance? This, uh, it didn't come to me soon enough. Didn't want to say this is Pokemon, because that seemed a little too generic. But, I don't know. Never mind. This is Sinnoh! That's probably what I should have said. <laughs> uh, Budu. Good, I can take those little weaklings out, because fortunately, I've got boobs for that. Mist Ball will take it out right away, leaving, um, or Blaze it to try and take down the Bronzor. Honestly, Payback, well, that's gonna hit normally. It's probably better than Bubble, so there's that. Man, poor guy is paralyzed with like 10 HP left. Oh my gosh. Mist Ball really should destroy that Budu. Like, I can't imagine it's gonna live. It lived. Okay, Bubble would have been a good idea. Budu uses the strength. Why are you attacking him? Bronzor is asleep. Oh my gosh, like. Hey, back. Wait, I got hit in the previous turn. Does that make him stronger? That doubles payback, right? Yes, it does. That is right. Um, now, um, how about this? Um, we're gonna try attack the Bronzor and then Peck the Badu. I was gonna say Bubble hits both very weak, but it's not enough to kill either, which is, I think, the problem. That should be just enough to take him down, please. Oh my god! That thing is such a tank. Please stay asleep. Seismic toss on Badu. Who's it hitting? War Turtle. Okay. Good. We're, we're staying in here. Slam Jam, you're gonna be alright. War Turtle. I always really loved War Turtle. I don't under. I mean, like, it's really a Squirtle with elf ears and, like, a fluffy tail, but. I don't know. I like it. Because it is a Squirrel Turtle. Squirtle. And he just gets a fluffy tail with fluffy ears. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand what's, what is squirrelish about a uh, Blastoise. I'm, I'm assuming they abandoned that, you know, by the time they got the Blastoise, but still. He is still sleeping, which is fantastic for us, so. I, d I can't tell if they have another Pokemon coming. They do. Okay, so if that's the case, um, they're not sending it out, so it's coming out after this. I'm going to Poison Sting him. And bubble. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Slam Jam Poison Sting doesn't affect. Bron oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Woke up. Psycho Shift. But it failed. What a worthless turn. Had um, Bubble done nothing or missed? Thank you. We took down the Bronzor. Blaze it, you're gonna live. Stay with me, buddies. Both of you. Yeah, both of you. Should I have drawn two names for him? Them? 
Oh yeah, which reminds me, speaking of genders, you guys did go back and check. The Chosen One did, I just want to confirm it, the Chosen One legitimately did grow a penis when it evolved. Not kidding, it happened. Awesome, now we can misball the Dust Tox and that will more than likely kill it. So peck just for good measure. Dead Giga Drain, oh no, it's gonna hit my War Turtle. Ow, 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 ow. Wow, nice. That is right. Slam Jam's defenses are like the same. The same as that, um, that Bronze Ore. I mean, type wise, no. It's just water. I understand. That's not what I meant. There we go. Looks like that peck's gonna matter. Good thing you're holding that powered up sharp beak. Yeah! There we go. Took down Team Galactic pair of people. Yeah, them. We did that thing. We did that thing. Good. Um, hopefully we're gonna be able to progress through this place. I'm not expecting it to be too big. You know, it was just a tiny little house. I'm just expecting like an upstairs after this. Dear, you're just a kid. Splunge got money. Thanks for money. Um, I kind of want to run back and heal the blazer really quick. You never know what's actually gonna happen in there. So there's the. Oh, this is gonna take a bit. So just give me a second. All right, guys. Now we can go upstairs, and we have healed mainly the war turtle. Is what I was concerned about. Okay, people at their computers. It's a desk job, except there's no cubicles. I really gotta fight all of you guys on your computers. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, they all have like porygons or something. I don't know. That would be fitting. Designer Jonathan wants to battle with an elekid. Wow. Wah, wah. Okay, nice. That was a nice dance you just did there. Like, did, did I need to do it too? That'd be a great time to like cut and like I'm doing a dance, but I don't have time to edit that because this video goes up like tomorrow. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I'm playing this way too, way too short. Uh, I've just been really busy lately. So anyway, uh, th th let's not even get into that. I can't see the side of War Turtle's eye, but I see its mouth. So all I see is this like void area of no eyes and a happy, a happy face. It's kind of demented. It's like Slam Jam has no eyes. Let's hit him with a try attack. That might actually kill it. That gets resisted. Ha ha, ha ha. You suck. Ha ha. Wow, wow. Slam jam. You're good. And barf those different flavored balls at him. And watch what happens when he dot. No. Okay. So I gotta hit him with a second one. I don't think poison thing's gonna do anything. We really gotta level him up and get some better moves. <sighs> Or a better TM we can find. That'd be that'd be awesome too. We really we really just need a different move. Poison Sting is so weak. Come on, come on, come on, yeah. They might have raised the power of Poison Sting in a in the new games. I don't know. I know they recently like messed with all the powers of the moves and you know, so I'm not sure. Hey, we got a miss ball for that. Kind of wish it was like a Nita Queen, you know, for the XP. That was weird. It went from like laying on its belly to standing on its hind legs. I've never seen that thing on its hind legs before. Miss ball. Poor thing looks like it's gonna flip over. Is it okay? And now I just blew it up with this big bubble. Missed ball. How does that inflict pain? Does it suffocate you? That'd be kind of bad. But hey, miss ball, you'd think would be water type. No, it's psychic type. Why? I don't know. It just is. Things just happen this way. So, there's that, I, I guess. So, anyway, hey, battle me! Working hard to find new energy sources for the feet. Okay, that's that's fantastic. That's actually a great thing. Let's see how good this Pokemon is I stole from some weak trainer. You see, you guys, like, said something really great there. You got good, got, uh, good reasons behind what you're doing. And then you're just stealing for no reason. Designer Alex! I'm fighting myself. Send out a muck. Like a muck's always doing this now. What's up? You wanna fight some of this? You wanna fight some of this? Yeah, I got a miss ball, man. What you got? What you got? What you gonna do with that? What you gonna do with that? I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do with that. You're gonna like swallow the mist ball. <coughs> oh, what the, what the heck here? Oh, I must have swallowed a, a mist ball floating in the air. Oh, I don't know why I, why that happened. Oh no, honestly, I wasn't joking. I was like. That was, that was real coughing. I know I said a joke that seemed like way too timed for what was happening, but that it was actually just coughing. Coffee. Will-O-Wisp. I was gonna say, I got hit with a fire move. Raise my fire move attacks, <laughs> which I don't have any. 
Um, try attack might kill it, but this guarantees it dies, and I'd rather guarantee its demise. Because Muck is kind of strong. We could have gotten one in the beginning. Is that other thing on the ground its other hand? Does Muck have another hand? I've seen Muck with two arms. Muck has two arms. It's just she usually just has the one coming out. Oh, yes. Give me a move. Give me a move, please. Please give me a move. I don't know when Mortortle does get moves, but hopefully it'll be soon. Dang it. You would have gotten it before that leveled up. What is this? Let's keep using Slam Jam a bit. I really want to get a move on him. Um, so these guys like want to create um, renewable energy. Fantastic. We are constructing creatures on new forms of energy. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon and use it as energy. What do you mean by that? Do you want to make like a swine up wheel where they like run in circles and stuff like that? Oh look, blue chairs on oh, computers. Can I work here? I want to work with you guys. I'm cool. Like uh, renewable energy sources. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. Well, I thank you. We love it when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. Like, I remember when I was, like, really young and I, uh, had uh, this idea of, um, making, like, renewable energy to get cars to run. I wanted to be an inventor when I was younger. And, um, I came up with this whole system of how, uh, we could use magnetism to basically, um, replace all roads. Like, we don't have the materials to do that. But we replace all roads with, like, a magnetized road of, like, boron and iron and something like that. And, um... You could basically make magnetized cars that would be hover cars, which would just be flat out awesome because hover cars. And I don't know what to hit him with. Um, and uh, also, based on just the angles that you tilt the magnets, it would propel the car. It also has a very high chance of flipping the car and crushing you against the pavement, but let's not go into that idea. My ideas weren't fantastic, they were just okay. Um, he is rock bug, so this is gonna get resisted, so that really sucks. Maybe I should just take this opportunity and switch. Who can kill a bug rock? Um, I'm seriously retreating from an Armaldo with a war turtle. I found I find this so weird. Um, you've got a steel attack, which sounds fantastic right now, so how about yes? When do we get Dodrio? 30 something? It's probably a ways out. Um, fell ass to sleep. DOD. Rio, we're gonna go at level 31. It's a ways out. That's a ways out, man. Iron Head. Iron Head. Boom! Right in the crotch, right there. He's got a number eight on his uh his nipples. Do you see that? Well, actually, he has arm nipples. Now that I see it, did you see? I never thought of it that way. But Armaldo has arm nipples. His arms come out of his nipples. They did. Toxicroak. He also has a big red middle finger. I'm gonna switch Pokemon back to uh, Slam Jam. Hit this guy with a uh, our last Miss Ball. That should one shot kill it. I can't imagine that it won't. He's so weak to Psychic. It's like hilarious. Um, what you gonna do there, you little giggle? See, I'm telling you, red metal fingers. I think that's exactly what they are. Miss Ball, boop. Hey, guess what? You know who died? Let me tell you about who died. You died. You died. I'm gonna hit you with this Miss Ball in that. That welt on your neck, that's where I'm aiming, and I'm gonna pop that blister. Boop, he died. That's kind of gross, like, could you actually pop that thing? I wonder what's inside, it's like probably full of poison. Blah. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Give us a move now, War Turtle. Give us a move. Three points of attack, that's nice, but no move. Uh, about to use our Weeping Bell. Um, we have a poison and normal. Let's just fight it. We can fight it, we can beat this. <laughs> Doing a little jig when you come out. Everything dances when it comes out. It's adorable. Mist Ball. Oh, I need more of those. Uh, or just a better Psychic move. Like, Psychic. You know. Just give me 15 PP points. Let it hit at 90. I'm cool with it, you know. Wow, that was lucky. That was really lucky. You know what? I'm going to Poison Sting try and kill you. That's, that's cute. I'm actually going to use these Poison Stings that I want to get rid of so badly. But... Uh, uh, okay. I wasn't really expecting it to kill it, but hey, he's frozen. I could catch you right now. Hey, are you donating your, your Pokemon to me? I'll just throw myself a Pokeball and catch it. I'm so glad we caught those net, net balls. Oh my gosh, because we got this amazing War Turtle. So happy. I love War Turtle. One of my favorite Pokemon. The, that evolutionary line. One of my favorite. Love him so much. If I had to make my favorite um, water starter, 
I think I gotta pick Totodile over them though, but I still really, really like that line. I think it's a close, close second. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> no, I mean, way, man. You actually work here. Okay, I was gonna say, you just like a guy? Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order that our boss will lead. So wait, you you don't know either. You don't know either. Designer pie, designer pie, a pie designer. I wish it just said pie designer. Then I've been like, oh cool, it's a baker. Um, in all honesty, we don't have anything on that anymore because I just lost my psychic. Yep. Firefighting. Hey, Blazekin, you gonna start another firefighting trend? If Litten turns firefighting, I am going to freak out and be so angry. Uh, they would never do that. Like. Pokemon knows that the Pokemon community, like, does not want another firefighting. Um, they did it three freaking generations in a row. Um. I'm gonna sleep powder first. Blaziken's just really strong. I missed! No! Discharge! Oh, no! That's gonna hurt so bad. I need to sleep. Sleep powder. Sleep powder. Oh, sleep powder. Sleep powder. You're getting sleepy. Ow! You're getting very sleepy. Oh, that slowed me down too. I didn't think of that. Bone meringue's gonna hit twice. One. Oh. Whatever. It was critical and killed us. That stinks. So who can take on Blaziken? Just saying, guys. Anyone ready to take on a Blaziken? Um, it knows ground electric right now. So ground electric. At least you block half of that. But man, I just realized everyone is weak to either one of those two things. So. That's the case, um, do we have anything good against him? Not really, that I'm thinking of. We have some people who are using Psychic, but nothing that I'm thinking of. Flying, 420 Blazing. That would have done it. Crunch. Why did I just use Crunch? <sighs> Man, I make some stupid thing. I make some stupid decisions sometime in Pokemon. Stupid, stupid, stupid decisions. Crunch. I don't know who mentioned it, but, uh, I, this is like one of the longest Pokemon games. Now that I'm uh, getting stuck in it, like for a really long time. Bug Bite gets resisted by the fighting, right? I don't know. Is that really gonna kill us again? Oh my god, it is. This Blaziken, what do we do? Are we gonna beat this trainer? Are we actually going to beat this trainer? I just realized how hard this is. Blaze it, I need you to peck like you've never pecked before. Peck so hard with both heads, no slacking. I want to see two pecks go down right now. Come on now, one. I want to see that second peck. Oh, don't you slack on me. I want that second peck out of here. Thunderbolt. Just Thunderbolt, too. Oh, no. Didn't they tone down? A oh, dang. Tone down a Blaziken's dick fur in um, later games. I, I hope they did. I don't know, they made it worse for Reshiram in 3D. It gets bigger. Oh, it's like they fixed um, Bear Tick because they knew what the heck they just did and it was bad. And then they go and make it bigger on Reshiram. It's like this giant furry thing. Why don't we just say the Reshirams are 100% meh? Now, vacuum wave speed priority, that should be enough, I hope. Oh. Kill it dead. Yes, right here gets all of that. Which is good for right here. 670. Fantastic. Leveling up. Getting a better move. Getting a better move. This won't go unpunished. Man, right here really isn't good with normalize. I really should get rid of him instead. Now that I think about it. You know, Apex is all that we got left. This is bad. You know, there's really not too much up here. If this is the end of the place... What? Excuse me? Oh, I bet this is the Galactic Leader. And if anything, we are not ready for this. But it's already been kind of a long episode, so I kind of want to save this for next time. This has been a lot of fun, and I am kind of concerned. Well, granted, she's got a Baneri and a Clefairy back there, which probably both suck. So, um... Maybe she's got legendaries and we're gonna die with these three Pokemon, but let's try and fight her with them anyway. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Randomizer. Bye.